Oh, okay. So here's the video as promised. And uh, so here's how it began. I'm in the sauna today. Because that's how I, I warm up every day when I go to 24 Hour Fitness. I usually sit in the sauna for about 10, 15 minutes. Get really good sweat going on. Um, muscle scrape my muscles a little bit. You know, get ready to roll. And uh, I'm in there today. There's a couple of guys in there that are talking nutrition and stuff like that. And both of them are fat, right? One of them is extremely obese. And he's got to be like 60 plus really really heavy like 300 pounds and um they're talking nutrition and of course everything that they were saying i was just like oh so i immediately jumped in started hammering them no 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 this is how it is and um uh so then they were talking about the 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 heavy set guy that's over 60 he started talking about how his doctor he's like well my cardiologist of 10 years says that to eat five meals a day, just eat small meals of whatever I want. And I'm like looking at him, I'm not like, is that obviously working for you? You're fucking fat as shit. You're gonna fucking die any damn second right now. Like seriously, you're about to fucking have a heart attack. Like I might have to do CPR on your motherfucking ass right now. So, and I'm looking at him like, obviously this shit ain't fucking working for you. So I had to bitch slap him a little bit. But it got me onto the point where, uh, because I see this a lot, okay? People listen up, man. I know doctors tend to have credibility because they spent fucking, like, a bajillion years in fucking school. But here's the reality when it comes to your doctor, okay? The reality is, doctors are groomed from the moment that they get into medical school on how to manage people's symptoms with drugs, the big pharma is fucking, is like, is basically just, like literally, from the moment they get in medical school, it's all about drugs and managing your symptoms. Nothing to do with cure, nothing to do with prevention, nothing to get to the fucking cause of why you're having problems, right? It's just, here, take this drug, here, take this drug, here, take this drug, because it's a fucking billion dollar industry. So, like, crazy billion dollar industry, okay? They're rich as fuck. So, um, so when it comes to you taking, you go to your doctor, whether it's a physician, whether it's your fucking cardiologist like this dude, it's his fucking cardiologist telling him this shit. Okay. You have an overweight person. You, you as a cardiologist are telling this overweight person, first off, you aren't fucking trained in nutrition. Okay. Doctors are not trained in nutrition. They literally get anywhere from like a week to zero nutritional education while they're in medical school literally like literally nothing like they basically just show them like this is a protein this is a carb like they don't show them shit right so and being that nutrition is the number one reason for all your fucking diseases and everything that's wrong with your fucking body you'd think that well you wouldn't think because like i said big pharma is farming these doctors right so uh, so they don't want they don't want you to know nutrition. They don't want you to know cure and prevention. But the point is, you're listening to this doctor that all he knows is drugs, okay, and symptom management. He has no fucking nutritional education. He doesn't even know what's causing your disease. All right. You go to a doctor and ask your doctor, hey, what's causing my heart disease? Well, it's genetic, blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up. No, it's not, you fucking idiot. It's because of the fucking inflammation from all the bullshit that this motherfucker's eating every day. Okay? Stop eating inflammatory fucking foods. Get off the fucking couch. You won't have fucking heart disease, bitch. Damn. So anyway, so these fucking doctors, all they do is prescribe you drugs. They go do a cholesterol test. Oh, your cholesterol levels are high. We got to put you on a cholesterol lowering medication. No, bitch. There is zero correlation between having high cholesterol levels and, uh, and heart attack. Okay, cholesterol is actually manufactured by your own fucking body. 75 to 80% of the cholesterol in your blood come from your own fucking liver. And it's mainly when, you're, when your levels are high, all that is is a sign that you are doing something to inflame your body and your body's producing cholesterol as a band-aid. All right, cholesterol is not the problem. It's what's causing the fucking inflammation that's the problem.
which for all of you is fucking sugar and bread and pizza and donuts and all the other bullshit that you eat all day long, all right? So your fucking doctor wants to put you on some cholesterol-lowering meds when the reality is it ain't gonna fucking help you. You don't change your food, guess what? You're still gonna have a motherfucking heart attack. Yep, still gonna have it. Even taking the drugs, but guess what else? Because you're on these cholesterol-lowering medications, here's what's gonna happen. Because every fucking cell in your body needs cholesterol, because cholesterol is very vital to the human body, including your brain, you are setting yourself up for Alzheimer's. You are setting yourself up for erectile dysfunction, guys. Because your body needs cholesterol to manufacture fucking hormones. All right? And every fucking cell in your body needs cholesterol. So you start el eliminating the cholesterol and reducing it, your whole health is going to go to fucking shit. Right? And you didn't, even, you didn't even get to the problem, the problem that was causing the cholesterol to be elevated anyway, which is the inflammation, right? But your doctor, right? Because your doctor told you to do that. Fucking stupid ass doctors. So here's the deal, man. Know this. When you go to your doctor, your fucking doctors don't know shit about cure. They don't know shit about prevention. They don't know shit about nutrition. Nothing. So how are you going to take fucking nutritional advice from some fucking idiot that doesn't know anything about nutrition? Huh? Think about that. I'm sure most of you, this is probably news to you. You probably didn't know that your doctor was an uneducated asshole in nutrition. Doesn't know shit, right? Doesn't know shit about fucking inflammation and gut health and, and nutrient deficiencies. Nope. They don't know shit about that. Which is the reason why people have diseases to begin with. It's a fucking proven fact. So, anyway, so I get off on this rant because I, man, I see this shit all the time, man. All the time. I, fuck, uh, everywhere I go, I hear people t like taking fucking medications. You don't need drugs, people. You're, you don't have a drug deficiency. You have nutrient deficiencies and you have inflammatory issues going on with that, within your system because you keep poisoning it. Because the foods that you're eating are literally fucking poison to your body. And your body is trying to fucking heal itself. Okay? So, stop poisoning your body. Fix your nutritional deficiencies and you eliminate your fucking diseases. That includes diabetes. That includes heart disease. That includes fucking cancer. That includes autoimmune diseases. Even motherfucking acne. Okay? Yep, that's fucking diet related too, bitches. So if you're an adult and you have shitty ass skin, guess what? It's because you have a shitty ass fucking diet. That's just an inflammatory response as well too. And hormonal issue. Both caused from your fucking food. So, anyway. So this pisses me off. So when you go to a doctor, don't take nutrition. I know because they have the fucking schooling, you think that they, you know, that they're credible sources, right? You should be listening to your doctor. Just like this dude that was in the sauna, right? His doctor said, eat five small meals or whatever you want, right? Obviously, this motherfucker wasn't eating small meals. He was eating whatever the fuck he wanted, and it led to binging and overeating all day, every day. He's fat as shit, and he's going to fucking die any second. All because his cardiologist said, right? Fuck, man. This shit pisses me off. And if you are one of these fucking doctors... This telling people shit like this, here's some warning signs from you. Okay, here's some warning signs. Here's what you need to watch out for if your doctor's up to speed or not with today's science and today's education. Here's some red flags. If your doctor says you shouldn't be or you should watch your cholesterol intake, okay, that's a warning sign. He don't know shit. Fire that motherfucker, okay? Fire that motherfucker. Never see him again, all right? Okay, so if he's telling you stay away from red meat or whole eggs and shit like that, fire that motherfucker, all right? Uh, if he's telling you to watch your sodium intake, okay? Now, most of you get, get way too much fucking sodium in your diet because you eat a lot of processed foods. But sodium's not your fucking problem, bitch. Sodium's not the problem. It's the fucking processed carbs that's killing you, not the sodium, okay? Not the sodium. Now, when your diet is clean, you have to actually add salt back to your diet in order to perform and function optimally. What? Yeah, you do. You do. You have to add salt. Yep, that's right. So, if your doctor's telling you, watch your salt, 
fire that motherfucker. If your doctor's telling you for if he's telling you to watch your fat intake, fire that motherfucker. Uh, let's see what else. What else is another red flag? Uh, I think those are probably the top three that you're gonna hear the most. All right, so. Those are red flags to watch out for. Now, when it comes to going to the doctor to begin with, know this. The reason you're going to the doctor anyway is because your health is shit, right? Guess what? You can't change your health without without changing your nutrition. <laughs> you gotta change. <laughs> you have to change your nutrition. Otherwise, you still go fucking die. So guess what? You don't even need to go to the doctor. You already know the solution. Fucking eat clean, bitch. That's the solution. You don't need to go to your fucking doctor so they can give you fucking drugs. Secondly, the other side of this is when you go to a doctor, if you need to go to a doctor or if you just want to go get a checkup, right? You just want to go get your health checked out, you know, maybe, you know, and I highly recommend that you do um, uh, get your micronutrients checked. Do look like blood work to get your micronutrients checked and then also have like your your hormone levels and everything checked. But check for your micronutrients nutrient deficiencies so you like your your vitamins and minerals and and then omega-3s and things like that do that okay but if you're gonna go to a doctor because something's off right and if something's off with your body all it means is number one you're eating shitty okay so you're either inflamed if you're actually eating good well here's the reality most of you your idea of good isn't even fucking close okay because most of your idea is good you still think the whole wheat is healthy whole wheat's fucking poison people that's like eating a bag of Skittles, only worse, all right? So that's one. So your idea of healthy isn't even fucking close, I promise you. And if you're having health issues, there's your proof. So anyway, or you're overweight, there's your proof, okay? Um, anyway, uh, when you go to a doctor, if you need to go to a doctor for whatever reason, but just know you have a nutrient deficiency. There's something missing, something missing. Omega-3s, magnesium, zinc, there's something missing that's, that's a, it's your, so your, your system's basically um, breaking down. So it's kind of like this. You lose nutrients on a daily basis. It's kind of like you take an ax to a tree. You take a chip out every day. If you're not replenishing these nutrients, what happens if over time? Over time, your fucking tree falls, right? It's your body. That's how disease starts, okay? When you have nutrient deficiencies, your systems are breaking down, shit starts to fall apart, bang, you end up with an issue. Okay, um, but it happens slowly over time. So anyway, um, when you need to go to a doctor, go see a holistic doctor or a functional medicine doctor or a naturopathic doctor. Those types of doctors, because those types of doctors will run these types of tests and they'll also tell you what you need to replenish to get your body back in check. But the reality is you just need to clean your diet up. Because you're not going to change anything until you clean up your nutrition. Because as long as you keep eating poison, you're going to keep you're going to keep staying unhealthy. You're going to keep damaging your health. You're going to stay fat. You're going to stay sick. You're going to stay with disease. But if you clean up your diet, guess what? And you start eating healthy and giving your body the raw materials that it needs to function and repair and heal itself. Guess what happens? It reverses itself. It heals itself. The body is an amazing machine. It is constantly always cleansing and repairing all day, every day. All day, every day. It is constantly cleansing your body and repairing. But the most of you spend the majority of your day fucking poisoning it every single meal all day long. So your body never gets a chance to fucking heal itself ever because you're constantly eating shit. Fuck, man fucking doctors. And if you're one of these fucking doctors, I want to punch you in the fucking face. You stupid fucks. Hate you. Man, you guys are fucking causing people to fucking die all the time. It's bullshit. So anyway, if you got one of these doctors, fire that motherfucker. Go get one of the ones that I was telling you about. But like I said, you cannot change your, your health without changing your nutrition. You have to commit to the lifestyle. You have to change everything or nothing changes. If you're not willing to do that, you don't deserve to be healthy, you don't deserve to live, you don't deserve to be fit, period. Period, if you're not willing to do the work, you deserve everything bad that goes wrong with you. And nature will weed itself, or will, will weed out the weak. You know, if you're not able to, to do that, you're weak, nature will weed you out. So there's your lesson for today. That's my rant. I'm done. You're welcome.